Welcome to another really exciting five minutes in God's word on the word of today's challenge. I am Vera Urobo. Dear listener, salvation only comes to those who confess Jesus as Lord, repent of their sins and follow him. In Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 to 14, Jesus said, enter in at the narrow gates because the gate to hell is wide and the road that leads to it is easy. And there are many who travel it. But the gate to life is narrow. And the way that leads to it is hard. And there are few people who find it. Now, so he spoke about two gates and two ways. The thing about it is that both gates profess Christianity. So this is not a contrast between Christianity and non-Christianity. But it's actually a contrast between false Christianity and true Christianity. Both gates promise heaven. Have you ever seen a church that says, come and join us, we will take you to hell? Never. Everyone promises to take you to heaven. Nobody sells hell. Everyone sells heaven. But the wide gates and the broad way will lead you straight to hell. There are many people who say, oh, come join our assembly. Come join what we are doing. What you need to check, my dear listener, is, are they presenting you with the narrow gates and the narrow way, or it's the broad way? Anything goes. Anyone can join. We don't judge anybody here. We want you to be comfortable. We celebrate who you are. We can accept you the way you are. Even God understands that it's not easy. Jesus himself said that this gate to life is narrow and the way that leads to it is hard. So anyone who is planning to go to heaven, the first thing is at the gate. That is the checkpoint. Where God is checking, are you ready to drop your baggage? The baggage of your pride, self-righteousness, the baggage of your filthiness of sin, are you ready to drop it at this gate? So I see people who are planning to get to heaven, and yet you sit down and you are watching Big Brother Africa. I want to ask you, do you think that thing will fit into this narrow gate that Jesus is talking about? It will not fit. If you are planning to get to heaven, you cannot enter this gate with the filth of your life. One of the things I've noticed is that there are many people who stand at this gate, this narrow gate, and they admire the gate. But Jesus never talked about admiring the gate. He said you must enter. Enter in. This is a command. It's not a suggestion. It's a command that you must obey if you hope to get to heaven. Please, I want you to watch the gate. He says you must enter in at the narrow gate. You know, if you are traveling on an international flight, there are all kinds of gates at international airports. If you mistakenly go and queue on a wrong gate, you know that if you enter that plane, you are not making it to your destination that day. That's the truth of the matter. So it's important the gate you have gone to enter. Check it very well. Is that gate going to take you to heaven? So it's important where you want to go. The destination you plan to go is what determines the gate you enter. If you are planning to get to heaven, the gate to enter is the narrow gate. But if you don't mind going to hell, of course, you can enter in at the broad gate where everything goes, everything is acceptable. But I dare say to you today that that broad gate can never lead you to heaven. I want you to note that. Notice also that hell is full of people who admire Jesus. They admire the teachings of Jesus, but Jesus never said, admire me. He said, come, follow me. Hell is populated with people who admire the idea that Jesus came and died for humanity, but they never came in at this narrow gate. You must enter. It will do you no good to stand and admire the gate. The command is enter. So my question to you today, my dear listener, have you entered? And have you entered in at this narrow gate? Think deeply about it and make sure that you have entered the right gate. I am Vera Urobo. Pastor Morningstar Christian Center, located at number one Dumas Close, behind Blackie Thomas Building, near Soko Estate Junction, along Airport Road, Efru. If you'd like to call or send a text, the number to use is 0703-222-1902. Do join us for Bible study every Tuesday at 5 p.m. and every Sunday at 8 a.m. Be sure to stay tuned same time tomorrow because I will be back with much more. God bless you. <laughs>